Hui hui! It's Louis again, and for this video, I'm going to talk about the YA contemporary books that I like. Hooray! So, the ratings for these books are between 3.75 to 4.25 out of 5 stars. So, let's begin! So, the first book that I'm going to talk about is Unexpected Everything, written by Morgan Madsen. Now, this happens to be Phil Ward's Book of the Month in April 2019, and I read it for that. Now, it has like a story about this young girl who is trying to figure out everything to do in her life because she was planning to have an internship and it didn't turn out that way. And she goes to like some sort of a summer job walking dogs. So if you folks saw that cover where she is, you know, well, kind of like holding it or has a dog with her, you know, that's why I guess it's a cover. So what I liked about this book is that I enjoy like, you know, the uh, family dynamics about it, the father and daughter, you know, relationship, and also the friendships in this story. I have a book review of it, so I'll just link it down below. Hooray! <laughs> The next 3.75 read would be Love, Hate, and Other Filters. So I also read this in 2019 for the Asian Readathon. Now we follow the story of Maya Aziz, who is figuring out like uh, what she will do in her with her life. You know, she would like to take up film, yet her parents want something else from her. And she has this plans of moving to New York, um, and then things change because, um, you know, a terrorist attack uh, that was identified to her religion, to the religion of her family, and you know the whole Islamophobia. So there's like some topics about it here, and to me, I like this book because of you know because the way that of course uh, they were able to synthesize the events. And if you're, you know, looking for something that. Uh, would talk about like an experience of someone who you know uh encountered prejudice and you know because of islamophobia then i suggest that you read this book and what else can i say yes this story is a very interesting one and it kind of you know also made me want to go to like the outskirts of the suburbs of chicago so <laughs> definitely another book that gave me a little bit of travel vibes. I know it's kind of weird and like I know it's not really meant to but hey. <laughs> and the last book for the 3.75 read would have to be a book that I read you know in 2020 uh, just like the first book that I read for 2020. That would have to be Playlist for the Dead by Michelle Falk. Now, this book follows the story of, of course, a Sam, okay? Uh, basically, he found out that his friend uh, committed self-harm, so trigger warnings for self-harm, okay? And he finds a playlist of some of the songs that, you know, his friend is interested with. And at the same time, uh, this story kind of like talks about how Sam uh, would like to find out the culprit or you know or actually he has already the vibe or the idea of who made or triggered his friend to commit self-harm so he wanted to kind of like um, do revenge and somebody kind of like helps him out in order to execute them what I love about this book is that you know um, about the friendship uh, Sam has for his friend like his dedication and how much he cares about him, not exactly in ways that folks would agree upon, but I just love the fact that how they synthesized, you know, the narratives for that one. And another thing that I like about these books, you know, you know what's interesting is that with contemporary books, especially those that are based in the United States, they give me a glimpse of what it's like to, you know, live in other places. Now this book is set in a small town called Libertyville, Libertyville or Liberty? Either way, uh, it's a small town in Iowa, which, you know, I'm kind of curious what it's like to be there. I've heard it's filled with planes, but hey, I'm up for some planes area, you know, just kind of like Kansas. I know a lot of folks 
say Kansas is boring, but it might work for me. I like, I would love to run around the plains, Kansas and Nebraska. <laughs> but still, Vermont is going to be in the top priority list. But I'm going to be open for Nebraska and Kansas and Iowa. Hooray! <laughs> now let us get into the 4.25 out of 5 star reads. So, the first one I'm going to talk about is something I listened in an audiobook. The first time or the first audiobook ever, I believe. It would have to be Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. And now I have a book review of it, which I'll be linking it down below. So all I gotta say that really struck me in this story would have to be the Gigi, oh, Gigi, no, Didi, Didi Blanchard vibe. So yeah, that one is just like sold me, okay? Hoorah! <laughs> Up next would have to be a book that a lot of folks already know, and that would be The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Now, I have a book review of it. Looking at down below as usual, hoorah! <laughs> anyway, so Angie Thomas's The Hate You Give, so this uh, talks about the story of you know, Star um, and how her friend was shot by a group of police. <laughs> and what I like about this book is that it talked about some, you know, social issues aside from, you know, police violence or racism. It also talked about some other social issues like opportunities, you know, opportunities for those that were like convicted or ex-convicts. And there's a scene here where, you know, Star and her dad talk about it, which, you know, I actually read it. It really like struck me and like it really like stick to my head like pat like, that that's the one that like whenever i think about this book it just is it's, that's what it's the first thing i think about i think it's just like stuck in my head like it was just stuck there like in the little crevices of my brain you know <laughs> <laughs> what if it's us what if it's them <laughs> now this book i really enjoyed this it talks about you know, a couple of boys, one is from Georgia, from Atlanta, well, specifically in Milton, Georgia, so that's kind of like, I think, 30 miles north of Atlanta, and the other is like a Puerto Rican dude who lives in New York City, you know, they meet each other, and like, fate brought them together, and it was just like a chill read, and, you know, it's not something that has like something very explosive or very coat and coat deep. You know, but it's just a book that is just really joyful, you know? And reading this, I just remember having like a good time. And it was just so lighthearted. It just had that like unusual zing to it um, that that's gonna make it likable, you know? So there's a lot of references for it to different pop cultures, Hamilton, you know? And I'm also fascinated by, you know, uh, Arthur's dad, uh, because Arthur's dad is a web developer. I, you know, as I used to work as a youth recruiter, and I know that, you know, in the United States, they need like, you know, um, web developers out there. So Arthur's dad can get a job. That's what I was thinking when I was reading this book. <laughs> yeah. So, what if it's us by Becky Albertelli and Adam Silvera? Oh. By the way, I also, you know, bought this book because I wanted to meet them in person. So I'm also going to link down the uh, bookish vlog when I met Becky and Adam. Hooray! <laughs> and last but not least, I read this recently. Two Olive Boys I Have Loved Before by Jenny Han. Now, I have already some videos where I talk about this book. I can just like link them down below. You know, and I think it would be redundant if I'm going to be saying those things again. But I just say this is just, you know, um, fluffy and sweet. You know, I guess, it's, you know, those are just some things that I haven't said yet. But yeah, I have a book review as well as this is one of, you know, the books that I like written by an Asian author. So I'm just going to link them down below. So when I revisited the clips, I realized that I forgot another one. Okay, so here it is. Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Chip. Now this follows the story of two people, um, 
that are kind of like already in their college stage and they meet through common friends and they decided to you know um have like some sort of a connection or bond through text messages which is kind of like evident in our society today with like technologies and stuff and i have a book review of this in my youtube channel and i just especially towards the end i just love how like the subtle um approach it has through different like complexities of life let me know down in the comment section like some why contemporary books that you liked and watch out for my video for YA contemporary books that I love. So I guess that's about it. If you folks like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, click that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon somewhere down there to keep yourselves posted about my videos. And I'll also be putting down the links and my social media handles, so feel free to check me out and follow me there as well. As always, Thank you super much for watching. Let us continue seeking for wisdom and unleash the reader in you. Bye y'all.